Hey guys, so this week's video, I was out shooting with this lens I recently picked up. It's a Soligor 400mm lens. You can see it's a big fella. It also almost felt like a, a telescope or something. It was it's so huge and it's quite heavy as well. But it's an old vintage lens. And the, the, the mount on this particular lens is a Miranda mount. So I had to pick up a lens adapter for it as well because I hadn't heard of a Miranda lens before. But you do get this lens in other mounts as well that are available. You can spot them on eBay or something. But this is quite a sort of zoomed in focal length. I don't usually shoot so zoomed in. So I thought I'd head down to this wetlands area. So it's, it's sort of like a bird sanctuary as well. So there's lots of wildlife around and birds. And I thought that would be a great subject matter to try out the lens and just sort of play around with it a little bit. I usually find like using a uh, focal length that I'm not used to is it sort of changes things up a little bit and forces you forces you to sort of think of a scene slightly differently and look at new compositions and the way the lights coming in the background versus the subject matter the ratios will be quite different than if you're used to shooting more wide angle lenses so I just thought I'd give it a go and uh, just try it with these birds they're not the fastest moving birds in the world so that's good on this lens because it's a manual focus so the manual focus is fairly sort of finickety with this sort of zoom lens, zooms ratio because every time you touch the lens, it, if you wobble it even slightly, it's moving quite far in the frame. So uh, I had it mounted on the tripod here. I wouldn't recommend using it handheld. That would be almost impossible. Um, ideally, you probably want a slightly sturdier tripod than what I was using. I usually carry a pretty compact travel tripod but you probably it would probably work a little bit nicer on a nice fluid head type tripod but you can see the shot first shot here and um, the image quality from the first few shots I got weren't the best I would have uh, I was still sort of testing out figuring out the range of where this lens sort of works best in and the, it does open up uh, to 6.3 that's sort of its widest and I found out 6.3 is quite temperamental about what distances are, are sharp when you're taking shots. So I found that if you don't go too far out with the, your focus, um, you still can get reasonably sharp photos on 6.3. But if, you're quite, if your subject matter is really far away, you want to step up to maybe f16 or somewhere around that range. So you can see this little group of birds here and they're all just standing around in the, the grass over there and they're quite a far distance from me and uh, this but this lens is really great at just framing the really nicely at this sort of distance and I think I'm at I think I'm maybe at 6.3 on this shot uh, because you can see the background is blurring slightly and I was just testing out the different apertures that this frame was quite nice because I could focus uh, sort of move the focus back and forth and I can see the movement of the focal plane through the grass because it's a nice flat area to see it. So I was able to get a reasonably sharp shot of the birds. Here as well I did notice that the, the light, sort of, the way the light comes into this lens is slightly strange. It might be the way the f because of the such long focal length but there was quite a, a difference in the background exposure and the foreground exposure just the way this seems that the way that light came into the lens was quite uh, sort of contrasty. You'll see it better on a, one of the later shots and, and I'll, I'll explain it a little bit better. But here's a shot here. So I, I was pretty pleased with how sharp the, the birds were at the foreground here. And here's another quick shot. I think this was maybe 6.3 or maybe stepped up to maybe f11. And this is fairly sharp as well. So I continued walking around the, the there's a little path that you go around the the wetlands and uh, stopped off here and there's a little, lots of little ducklings and their mum, the mother duck there. But I couldn't take a shot of these ones, they're too close up to me so this lens is not great if you're trying to get a close up shots or macro type shots. You want to be aiming your subject matter fairly far in the distance with this sort of focal length. The 400mm its minimum focus distance is quite far away from you so this would be a great shot but I decided I'll, I'll just see if I can spot on any any other subject matter around here. But it was quite cool just to see the, the ducklings all just being fairly curious of me standing there and they were just looking around and they didn't seem to be too scared or anything. So that was a kind of a cool little thing to see. 
but I did spot another group of ducklings here in the distance. Pretty similar to the ones in the foreground here. But this is the sort of distance I want to work with, with this 400mm focal length. So I'm just trying to, sh it's not obvious in the shot here, so I think I did zoom in a little bit. And you can see them a little bit more, and just the way the light's coming in just now, the light's starting to rise a little bit more, and you get, you're getting some nice reflections uh, against the water as well. So it, just everything's starting to pick up a little bit in terms of the lighting. So you can see in the final shot, there's some great reflections on the, in the background on the reeds there. And I, I was pretty pleased with how sharp the ripples were and the ducks themselves. So this was later on, this is in the evening, during sunset. And uh, I just thought I'd try and some, take some landscape shots with a 400mm lens. Uh, I am usually take landscape shots, that's kind of what I prefer to take. So I thought, well, how can I sort of view my compositions and view my environment? through a 400mm lens in a landscape setting. So I, I was trying to zoom in on here on the, there's a gondola station across the way, across the hills, and I'm just framing it in this cool little crest in the in the mountains there. And I did, I thought it'd be quite a cool idea just to do a little drone shot here. It's sped up quite a bit, but quite a cool idea to just fly over here with the, with the drone and show you how far away the subject is here. So you can see the, the crest and the hill here just at the bottom of frame now. That's sort of where I'm aiming through. And then it's reaching all the way over to the gondola station in the distance here. So it gives you a good idea of how far it is. The footage is sped up quite a bit as well, because it did take quite a while to, to fly over there with the drone. But you can see now in the frame with the camera screen there, that it does reach really far with that sort of focal length. And you can also see that I'm shooting at exposure plus 1.3. And I did notice with this lens, it, it's, I think it's mainly because of the distances. It does struggle a little bit with lighting and backlighting. This may be because it's, the light has to travel so far through the atmosphere. The, the, the way the light's coming back is quite different. So I felt like the shadows were quite strong in the shots if I didn't step up my exposure so you can see I was stepping back down to zero and you can see it's way darker on the back of the screen here I can barely see the hill in the foreground you can see the sky really well but there seemed to be a much bigger difference so here's the final shot and I was really pleased with how that one turned out now the Sun is just starting to set now and it's starting to hit the tops of these hills and is dipping below the cloud line there and I thought it'd be a really cool shot here as well there's a a, t a radio tower in the distance. You might have seen it in some of my other videos. I do shoot up in these hills quite often, but this is way, way far away uh, distance. You would probably take about half an hour to drive there from this location. So it's really far away. I'm just trying to get a sort of backlit shot of the, the, the radio tower against this really dramatic sky. So I hope you like this week's video, guys. To something a little bit different trying out this lens and I appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks!